A London family is calling for action after a six year old discovered and poked himself with a used needle while playing in a North London park. Merrick Sutherland joins us live with this story tonight. Merrick. Well, Tara, kids are curious and one London family is calling on all parents to talk to their kids about needle awareness. This as they wait to find out if their son has been infected with a disease like hepatitis or HIV. I'm, I, I'm traumatized. And of course, as a parent, I feel responsible because I did not look around and save him, you know? Ocean Renouf takes her kids to Constitution Park often and says it's a nice place for the kids to play. But last night, the serenity of a pre-dinner outing turned to panic. He runs over to me saying, ow, ow, ow. And as he gets closer, I see that he had a needle in his hand, holding a needle. And originally I didn't think that he had actually pricked himself with it until he held up his other hand and he said, Mommy, look, I'm bleeding. And the blood was coming down his hand on his right thumb. Her son Nathaniel had been climbing in a tree that he's climbed in several times before. So we asked him to show us what had happened when we made an upsetting discovery. This one and then I went back down and then I found it right here. Oh, it was right there? Oh, I thought it was at the fence, see? So you found it right there. Wow. Oh, oh, look out. There's one another one. Oh, right my goodness. Do you see that? Yeah. There's another one. Oh, yeah. sorry. There's another one, guys. Yeah. See what I mean? The tree behind me where young Nathaniel found the needle yesterday and subsequently we found two more during our interview this morning. It's not in a sectioned off or in a remote part of the park. It's literally steps away from swings as well as a soccer field. And it is a citywide problem. It's not just located in one area of the city. The London Middlesex Health Unit says there's a perception that needle use is a downtown problem, but that isn't the case. And parents need to have a conversation with their kids about needle awareness, no matter the age. It's terrible that a, a six-year-old would have been exposed. Um, you know, as a parent myself, I find that concerning, but I think it's important and it's a reminder to, to have that conversation with your child that if you see a needle, to notify an adult or notify your parents and not to touch that needle. Nathaniel was at Victoria Hospital all night last night and did receive a special injection for hepatitis, but he'll have to undergo several blood tests over the coming months to ensure he hasn't contracted anything. Tara. All right. Thank you very much, Merrick.